Chris the Carpenter here. Uh, we done good tonight. We done real good. I'm sticking with the old Z-axis that I made yesterday. Um, basically, all I've got to do to fix my problem is just simply move um, the X screw jack um, from between the rails to above the rails. Bada boom, bada bing. And actually, after staring this, staring at this last night for quite a while, um, it actually seems that that's going to be closer to the center of mass than it would be. It was mounted down here. Um, and I was just really happy with the Z-axis as it sat. So, uh, so I'm sticking with it. Um, I welded some end caps on to uh, beef that up a little bit. And then another one here with a little swoop um, out of it for the shaft to fit through. And then, hey, look at that. It's a motor. Ha <laughs> um, I cut these little snazzy brackets. And you can see I haven't even ground down the welds yet. Um, but, uh, but mounted this guy on. And it's, uh, it's within two thousandths of an inch um, parallel, which is amazing. This coupler that I'm using, I got the wrong size couplers, so I, um, I actually ended up having to drill this out just to see if I can get this to work. Um, so it's a little offset. It's actually a lot offset, um, which will be fixed when my new ones get here. But um, for now, it's a testament to how well these work. Um, these are not exactly perfect friends yet, and, uh, and all the flex is right in the middle there. None of it's, none of it's being transferred down here, so that's awesome. Do, 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 do. What else? What else? Oh! Um, here you can see in the plate, here's a little lip here, and I actually gave it a lot more uh, room. I, I cut a much larger hole than I needed to. This is one of my philosophies now. Um, it's drill big holes um, philosophy, which is basically um, anywhere there's a mounting hole, uh, the holes for these bolts, etc. Um, I'm just drilling them oversized, and uh, I'm using a uh, a, a bolt with a nut on the back as opposed to threading the the material and um, it's going to give me fudge room basically um, I can take uh, I can take this whole carriage and loosen the, the screws and just ever so slightly fudge it you know either way to um, to get it 90 degrees to the table and um, you know the the one step oversized holes are don't give me a whole heck of a lot of fudge room but it's just going to be that like tenth of a degree I'm going to need, just that little bit to get it straight. Um, and everything's done that way. Um, these on the uh, glides here, I can tilt it maybe this way, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm really happy with that decision I made. It's good. Um, I uh, Let's just get the show on the road. Let's get to the good stuff. Um, I made a acrylic plate here attached to a little nut. I clamped it on. There's a plate here that is clamped to the two um, L brackets that are on the glide, so it, this is all like um, sort of what it'll be like when it's done. Um, I've got a G-code feeder over here, I've got an Arduino, um, motor controller, and power supply, and I'm going to stick uh, X0 and see if we're centered or not. We are not. But there it is. Alright. Ha ha ha! I've got it going extraordinarily slow so I can watch it go. Um, <laughs> Alright. How about that? So, the bottom line is I have a perfectly working Z axis at this point, even with. Uh, missing screws and everything kind of being clamped together in cattywampus. So I'm happy. Um, I'm happy with this decision. Moving this up here, it's going to make my life a lot easier. Um, this is coming together. Uh, I'm super happy with these nice, cool, kind of, you know, swoopy brackets. My alignment's good. Um, this carriage is good. I actually think I might want to, you know, they're like, there ain't no reason not to make it pretty. Like, I think I might want to. I don't know, maybe extend this angle iron down, and which is going to have to be because the router has to be, you know, sort of down here, um, and you know, make it kind of swoopy, or um, maybe swoop in a plate like this, or I don't know. But I, I think I, I think I should probably do something pretty for this whole um, 
bracket here. But I don't know. I gotta draw some stuff. Oh, speaking of drawings, check this out. <laughs> That's my original right there. That's what I thought it was gonna be. And um, if I turn we if we turn it sideways, so look at there. There's the motor and the swoopy bracket and the uh, bearing block and the screw. And there's the motor and da da da, -da and the little swoopy bracket and the uh, thing. Uh -huh. Look at that. Wicked close. Ha ah. Okay. Um, so that's it for tonight. I'm uh, extraordinarily tired. I feel like I'm rambling. And um, I think I'm actually going to go to bed early tonight. But uh, hopefully tomorrow, gantry rails and maybe the whole, whole gantry. And um, man, if I'm lucky and I get up early enough, um, maybe actually getting it to go um, Z and X, which would be pretty cool. So um, there you go. Day three.